all right guys hi, hi hi guys how are you doing i hope you guys are doing fine and in this video we are gonna learn about sub menus menus and cascading menus with python tk inter so let's get started with coding all right so first of all we need to import tk inter as tk all right after doing that i need to create a main window so let's do that so main window oops that's a spelling mistake is equal to tk dot tk so i'm creating an object of tk then main window oops ah it always usually happens with me so main window dot geometry so i'm gonna say 640 cross 340 oops again i made a mistake should be in a quotes because it's a string argument right so let's do that and main window dot title i'm gonna say sensor sensor data all right so after that i'm gonna say main window dot main loop all right so we have the main loop now we need to create a sub menu so i'm gonna say menu bar equals to tk dot menu oops tk dot menu i don't know what's happening today with me my hand is just like slipping over the keyboard all right and where do we want this menu that's on the main window then i'm gonna say sub underscore menu equals to tk inter dot again menu and this menu is gonna, was gonna derive from the menu bar and tier off equals to zero all right now we have to do a sub menu dot add command so add command then the label label equals to my name that's correct then sub menu dot add separator i'm gonna say sub menu dot add command the label equals to sha sub menu dot add separator that's correct now let's do the final part that is um menu bar dot add um, add a cascade i'm gonna say label equals to my oops my name so basically uh, i'm creating a cascade window um and this is gonna derive from the sub menu of course and at the end just the last configuration that is menu oops not menu uh main window dot config main oops, menu equals to menu bar all right looks good and let's run this real quick and sure it is my name somil and shah so right now it does nothing let's add a function to do something uh let's say triple o's that's just uh, you know you want to print that out all right so let's um so whenever i press this button i want to say command equals to lambda or basically instead of that i can just specify ooh, ooh, ooh. all right uh, that's not needed let's run it and see if it works so my name so milcha youtube channel all right that's it for this video if you guys enjoyed my video tutorials do give a like and if you have any questions as usual please post them in the comment section below and as and when i get time i shall be answering your question as soon as possible as usual the code is there in the description section go to my github account i have plenty of uh, programming examples and codes there so i hope you are enjoying with me tutorials so if you are new to my channel i i i like to create tutorials with python arduino raspberry pi i play around with that python is the language that i am pretty comfortable with and i usually do everything with python so that's it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it and i would see you guys